we're all right, really. We're just normal people. <laughs> try to be as respectful as possible and tidy and I never stay in the same place for more than a, like you know I leave early in the morning so no one really minds me being there like if I wasn't gonna be judged for it like I might have my music on and I'll like sit with the door open but a lot of the time I do have the door shut just because like people doing the school run and stuff they'll walk past and they'll give you kind of a little glare and there's been an old man who looks out his window, so I try not to park in front of his house because he really like, looks a bit unhappy that I'm there. Well, I was thinking about renting somewhere, but then I kind of did a bit of calculations and unless I'm literally working five, six, seven days a week, like all day, I can't afford to rent anywhere. And obviously then all of my money would be going to renting, can't save up to buy any, it's just like an endless cycle, so it's just cheap living. I think, just having my own home essentially is like yeah having a place that is mine and I don't have to share with anyone and I never like the sec I've got the protection of it. I was in a bit of a bad situation in my house and I think that really pushed me to like take the leap into a van. I'd, I'd always wanted to do it but I, I just needed to get out of it, it was quite oppressive. I guess it's just, for me, it's a, a place to feel safe in like such an unstable world. I've no, I'd always struggled in, in all the rooms I've been renting and lived in houses, I've always felt it's so temporary and I really miss that sense of belonging and connection to my home. <laughs>